For homeowners, a wet basement is a major problem. Water in the basement can cause damage to carpets, woodwork, drywall, or stored items. Worse yet, the molds and mildew that can hide behind the walls and beneath the carpet can be carried through the ventilation systems to all areas of the house, causing or exacerbating health issues. Water control systems can protect not only the value of your home, but also the health of your family. There are many ways that water can enter a basement. Understanding how the water enters a basement is crucial to determining the proper solution to the problem. Rain and groundwater are the most common causes of basement water. If you live in a 2,000 square foot house, roughly 1,250 gallons of water will fall off your roof if it rains just one inch. If you have any issues with your gutters and downspouts or the soil grating around your home's foundation, that water can very easily find its way into your foundation and into your basement. Once the water has found its way to your foundation, there are a number of mechanisms that draw water through your foundation walls and into the basement. Concrete is porous and allows for capillary action. Ever put the corner of a towel into some water and watch the water climb up the towel? Concrete walls do the same thing with water trapped in the soil around your home. Depending on the type of soil you have, this capillary action can pull water into your foundation from as far as 20 feet away. There is also the issue of air pressure. In most houses, there is a slight negative air pressure in the basement. This is caused by a stack effect, which happens when air warms in the basement and rises to the upper level of the house. This negative pressure in the basement can be enough to draw moist air in through any cracks or gaps in the foundation or through uncovered sump basins. If the home is on a block foundation, moist air can even come through the block cores themselves if the top course of blocks are left open. Regardless of how the water enters the basement, there are a few things to look at before you look at installing any sort of water control system. First, control any interior moisture sources. Things like showering or cooking in homes with bathrooms or showers in the basement can generate a good deal of water vapor. Properly ventilating these sources of moisture can help prevent condensation on basement walls. Make sure that the gutters and downspouts are clean and functioning properly. A minimum of one downspout per 50 linear foot of roof eave is recommended. Make sure that downspout extensions extend at least four feet away from the foundation wall. Also, make sure that the soil around the foundation is sloped away from the house. One inch per foot of slope is recommended for at least six feet away from the house. If you already have a sump system, make sure the pump is functioning properly and the drain tile hasn't collapsed due to soil weight or become obstructed due to tree roots. In some instances, a little maintenance is all that's needed to take care of a small water problem. If those maintenance steps don't solve the problem, a drainage system will be your next step.